Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Lego Underdog 4562 here, coming at you with a re -re uh, another review or a re-review of the Back to the Future or Back to the Future Part Two uh, Mini Mates Diamond Select Mini Mates uh, vehicles uh, part or you know the DeLorean time machine. Mini DeLorean Time Machine with Marty McFly. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what it was called since I don't have the packaging with me. But, uh, yeah. Here he is. Um, I got this a while back off of e or not eBay, Amazon for about uh, 25 bucks. It's kind of, uh, what is my camera doing? But, um, there's Marty. As you can see, I've painted the torso to try, or the, not, not, the, not the torso, the uh, vest, to try to make it blue, but it kind of fell off. And I lost his cuffs. I'm not really sure what happened to him. Like the, the things, his like sleeve rolls or whatever you call them that go on his arms, right, hands right there. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, apparently he was supposed to come with a spare pair of hands and uh, a certain hair piece that comes on the... 50s Marty McFly, that hair piece right there. But I never got it when it came in the set. Either that or it fell out when I wasn't looking, but I'm I'm pretty sure it didn't come with it. Alright, let's take a look at Marty here. I got this uh, background from the also from Diamond Select, but it's the 115 scale DeLorean time machine. Or just time machine. So Marty has a ball joint head. Here, I'm gonna take his vest off. As you can tell, the uh, the there is the blue is on here because uh, his denim jacket is also sculpted on there, which I didn't really know until I got the figure itself. So here we got a so we got a print of his uh, his button up sh or his button up checkered shirt with his overalls or his suspenders, I mean, and his red shirt under. And uh, if you can see that there, they decided to make the skin go all the way up to his neck. So, make it look a lot more realistic. They did really good on their detailing on this figure. I mean, other companies probably, like uh, the... What do you call it? I'm trying to think. The Kubricks just have him with a shirt on. Or a button-up shirt on. Instead of all this awesome detailing. This is really what the reason why I... I uh, really like the Mini Mates a lot better. But, as you can see, this is pretty much a remake of the Part 1 4-pack, which I which I don't have because they stopped making them for some reason, and I, they're really hard to find. But, uh, anyways, got his shirt there, and his suspenders. Got, as you can see, his sleeves are supposed to be rolled up. That's where the fold things are supposed to go. Got his jeans. Not really much detail around the back, but it is on the front with the belt loops. And his Nike Bruins, even though they're not really Nikes, they just kind of, they had a, they couldn't get the licensing for the Nike, so they had to make up their own little logo type thing. But they did detail him really nicely, and he's, he looks really good. That's the main thing. I'm going to adjust my light. He looks really cool. Uh, he just looks so cool like that. Like, if you just put him down and look at him, he just looks so cool. That's why I love this Marty McFly. Anyways, oops. This is the part one DeLorean, even though it's part two for copyright reasons or whatever. And, uh... I'm not sure if they got... I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure, though, but... I'm pretty sure they got Michael J. Fox licensing for this to make them look like Michael J. Fox. I don't like how it's blue around the edges since it should be like, you know, the gray or the white. But it seems like they put all this detail into the Marty and not too much onto the DeLorean, at least paint job wise. They didn't, they're not allowed to have the DeLorean logo, so, or call it the DeLorean. But we got out of time, got the stickers. <coughs> It rolls really nicely, you know, it's a little, you know, 
fits good inside. You can, you know, see them in there with the flux capacitor. Also, uh, you see that in there under the flux capacitor? That's supposed to go above. That's supposed to go like right there, but there's this weird little knob screw thing there, so it prevents it from going up there. So I just have to put it on the flux capacitor. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool little set. If you can still find it, I'd say still get you. You should probably get it. But uh, if you can't, then you're out of luck and out of time. And so this has been a review of the Marty McFly Mini Mate DeLorean Time Machine. Thanks for watching. See you later.